do we witness to others the joy of the gospel? A blessed Saturday, brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Since he became Pope in 2015, Pope Francis has called our attention to the source of joy, which is the personal encounter with Jesus Christ. The Pope has written about, preached about, and through dramatic gestures, practiced the joy of the gospel. Two of the saints which Pope Francis canonized on October 16, 2018, were witnesses to the joy of the gospel. They were St. Oscar Romero, Archbishop of San Salvador, and St. Pope Paul VI. These two saints live lives marked by pain and criticism, including from within the church, but they dedicated themselves with passionate love to following Jesus and caring for the weak and the poor, Pope Francis said in his home. Archbishop Oscar Romero was born in Ciudad Barrios, El Salvador on August 15, 1917 and entered a minor seminary at the age of 13. During his years of priestly ministry, young Romero served the marginalized and the suffering of his country. His radio show and homilies drew thousands of listeners and earned him the title Voice of the Voiceless. An outspoken advocate for the poor, Archbishop Oscar Romero was shot and killed on March 24, 1980 as he celebrated Mass at a hospital in San Salvador during the country's civil war. He called for an end to the violence and killing of civilians during the war, which lasted from 1979 until 1992. St. Pope Paul VI, who was born Giovanni Battista Montini on September 26, 1897, in Concesio, Italy, is best remembered for seeing the Vatican Council through to its end and helping implement its far-reaching reforms. He was severely criticized for his 1968 encyclical on married love, Humane Vitae, which reaffirmed the Church's teaching against artificial contraception. St. Pope Paul VI was well aware of the upheaval and suffered greatly because of it. During his beatification in 2014, Pope Francis said that St. Pope Paul VI, even in the face of a secularized and hostile society, held fast with far-sightedness and wisdom, at times alone, to the helm of the seat of Peter, while never losing his joy and his trust in the Lord. Pope Francis cited Pope Paul VI's homily in Manila on November 29, 1970. Christ, yes, I feel the need to proclaim him. I cannot keep silent. I am sent by him to do this. I am an apostle. I am a witness. He was the first Pope to visit the Philippines. Pope Paul VI is also remembered as a strong leader who was close to Catholics who suffered persecution, including Archbishop Romero. 
the two men cross paths on the road to sainthood and form a personal friendship that strengthen each other's resolve in the face of growing challenges according to Roberto Morozzo de la Roca author of a biography of Romero in 1977 Paul VI appointed Romero to lead the Archdiocese of San Salvador during a tumultuous time when priests and religious who stood with the poor were targeted by right-wing paramilitary groups aligned with the government. Pope Paul VI saw Archbishop Romero as an oasis in the desert amid so much misunderstanding. Pope Francis said, even in the midst of tiredness and misunderstanding, St. Pope Paul VI bore witness in a passionate way to the beauty and joy of following Christ totally. Of St. Oscar Romero, Pope Francis said that he gave up the security of the world, even his own safety, in order to give his life according to the gospel. Why do we compare ourselves with others? And no wonder we had so many rivals. We want to be better off than our neighbor. While Peter and John were both called as disciples of Jesus, each was given a different task or function. When Peter questions John's role, Jesus retorts, What is that to you? Follow me. Peter's given task was to shepherd the sheep of Christ and in the end to die for Christ. John's role was preeminently to witness to Christ and to give his testimony to the gospel. John lived to long age and wrote the gospel as his testimony. To the reality of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. John ends his gospel with an astonishing remark. Human books cannot exhaust the person and work of Jesus Christ. His power is inexhaustible. His grace is limitless. His wisdom unfathomable. His triumphs are innumerable and His love is unquenchable. We can never say enough of the power, majesty, and glory which belongs to Him alone. Do we witness to others the joy of the gospel? Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the power of your love, Lord Jesus Christ, fiery and sweet as honey, so absorb our hearts as to withdraw them from all that is under heaven. Grant that we may be ready to die for love of your love, as you died for love of our love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers, and sisters. God bless our Catholic Church and couples for Christ.